Okay, hi, I'm um, Mike Woodford from Columbia University. Um, I'm in the economics department there. I've um, been doing a lot of work recently on um, foundations of decision making and in particular uh, pursuing the idea that there are many patterns in people's behavior that can be best understood as mistakes that result from imprecision in decision makers uh, internal mental representations of the situation they're in and um, as opposed to precise representations of the situation they're in. And the point of, of this research is to suggest that that additional flexibility in the way you model what's going on, how decisions are made, is important, but also to suggest that when you see the importance of this, it may be a substitute for more complicated explanations in other dimensions that are often used um, in interpreting economic behavior. And so I think it leads not necessarily to a more complicated and seemingly ad hoc kind of explanation, but in some ways, uh, more parsimonious and unified explanations of behavior um, once one uh, takes into account the importance of uh, realizing that decisions have to be based on these imperfect mental representations of the situation rather than the actual situation. The event that we have just had um, was addressing a set of very important issues. Um, uh, this was a forum on assessing the contributions of what's called behavioral economics to economic science in general. And that means broadly talking about the importance of introducing ideas from psychology and ideas that are based on experimental studies of behavior um, into economic analysis. And I think that um, uh, one of the really nice things about the forum was the range of different points of view on that question. Uh, that were represented, and I think it got a lot of uh, issues aired and out on the table that I, I, I think you know, many economists think about or maybe talk about but don't get uh, necessarily talked about in public. And I think that this kind of occasion that is really airing some of the different points of view that exist among economists and having them uh, you know, directly confronted with each other and ask people what they would say in response to a question, I think is actually very valuable because I think these kind of discussions have to occur for the field to move forward. And I think, you know, this kind of occasion can, uh, can really be very important at, you know, clarifying uh, fundamental issues for the field of economics as a whole.